Hello, dear aquarist. I'm sure you will be interested to see some very strange abnormal diseases, problems of our aquarium fish. Yes, during my work, I've seen very strange things. So watch my videos, watch my photos. I'll show you the strange things we can find on our aquarium fish. Abnormalities. Uh, subtitles I have available also in other languages. And of course, for you, the specialist, I have a book available on ornamental fish diseases of the pond fish, the goldfish, and our aquarium fish. I'll show you the link below. But first of all, let me show you this discus here. Look at the discus. What is coming out of the mouth? Wow, a worm. Yes, it's very unusual that we see a worm which is like a cestode, a long worm coming out of the mouth of the fish. Yes, things we can see in our ornamental fish. Uh, strange deformations here, like on the head of the discus or these deformed crossochylus caused by a bacterial infection, mycobacterium or fish tuberculosis. And this is also caused by the fish tuberculosis mycobacterium is the hunchback on the carnal, an old age syndrome. Yes, you might have seen that in your aquarium when the fish are living for a long time, it can happen. And then the cotton of the body, yes, the real fungus here on the left, and here the false fungus, which is a parasite. Yes, a microscope can help you determine because it's a different treatment. Lymphocyst is a viral infection. Look at the weird looking chanda here, glass fish or all the spots here, which is a viral infection causing those white spots, strange lymphocystis. And all those spots here on this eel, a sporozoa parasite, and here on those oridias, all those white lumps, those are all sporozoa parasites, which are very difficult or not possible to treat. And then we have the physical disease, which I have a video from, you can show at the bottom, I, in, the, in the description, I have a video link to this kind of problem, it's dermocystidium. Look at the bubbles on these fish, look strange looking, very weird, coming in the last couple of years more and more in our aquaria. And look at this strange rimy nose, look at the bubble here, at here. and inside was a large nematode, a worm, Typical for a wild fish, very unusual. And then all these lumps on this Rasbora heteromorpha, look at this. And inside were all those worms. Yes, worms can be a problem in our fish. Look what kind of weird looking fish we have. And then we have those curved spines or lordosis, a deformation like on this big kachana, which was a snake head in a show aquarium in a restaurant. Or here we can find it in the aquaria, the deformed back lordosis. Siamese twins, something unusual. Look, a guppy, Siamese twin, guppy. Or this arowana, this Asian arowana, also Siamese twin, strange things. And these tumors, yeah, tumors on this goldfish. Look at those big lumps. Or here on the nose or the mouth of this angel fish. Yes, tumors, growths, viral infections like these on this golden orf, or here on this uh, uh, goldfish, you know, the fancy goldfish, all those white lumps, viral infections can occur. Only a diagnosis you can do with a microscope can help you. Deformation, accidental, when they were young, causing damage on the eye, causing damage on the body giving very strange looking fish. Well, a microscope, that's what I use in my work to make a more correct diagnosis. And you watch my videos. I explain all about that in my videos, how we diagnose and how we can treat the problems of our aquarium fish. And of course, my book is one of the best helps and I have several books. See the link below where you can find and order the books. Thank you for watching and subscribe to see more videos on discus diseases, angelfish, dwarf cichlids, Malawi cichlids, Oscars, Tanganyika, Betagup, etc. So, so many things you can learn on fish diseases. So, 
keep on watching my videos and I hope you stay tuned and to become a better fish keeper or hobbyist. Thank you for watching.